Hi, I'm Judy, and it's the evening of day four here on the West Coast of President Trump's first 100 days. And I have a scripture verse I'd like to share with the President for prayers for the President, a note for the President, and a prayer. The verse I've chosen is called, If My People, it's actually from 2 Chronicles 7.14. It says, If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven. I will forgive their sin and heal their land. And this is my present, my letter to the president. Dear President Trump, we are grateful to God for giving America one more chance to turn around, to turn back to common sense, liberty, and freedom. We are grateful that God has called you to lead America for such a time as this. Now is the time for healing of the nation. One reason that America became great in the first place was that our founding fathers based their new country on common sense principles, which every historian knows came from directly from something called common law, a system of government governing we inherited from our mother country, England. In fact, common law was so common back then that um, everyone knew it wasn't even written down. Everyone knew that lying, killing, and stealing was wrong, were wrong. And why is common law so common? It came directly from the Decalogue, the Ten Commandments. God's laws for society, which are the foundation for goodness and America's greatness. Without these laws, any nation crumbles. God wants to heal our land, but first we must humble ourselves, pray, seek, our, seek God's face, and turn away from our wicked ways and turn towards God's ways. Sincerely and prayerfully yours, Judy. And now I'd like to just share a prayer with you. Heavenly Father, we come before you with humble hearts and pray that you will wrap your loving arms of protection around President Donald J. Trump and his amazing wife, Melania, their son, Baron, and the whole Trump family, Ivanka and Jared, Eric and Lara, Donald Jr. and Vanessa, and Tiffany. These are serious days in America and the world, and we pray that you will give President Trump your wisdom and grace in everything he says and does and surround him with wise and godly leaders and advisors. We pray that under his leadership, the evils of totalitarian godless governments around the world will crumble. We pray that Americans will turn from their wicked ways and that you will heal their land. God, we pray that you will use President Trump to remind Americans and the world the true foundations of our liberties, common law, God's law. God, we love you and ask for your blessings on the Trump family and on America. In Jesus' holy name, amen.